fifth gear's favourite hot hatch is the Honda Civic Type R. This is its big new rival, and I'm reporting for duty to see if it's any good. The Volkswagen Golf GTI. Unfortunately, it's heavier than the Civic. It's slower than the Civic, and at £20,000, it's four grand more than the Civic. So why or why would you buy one? Now, I love the Civic Type R's engine, so long as you're revving it. It's got to be, it's got to be driven hard. You've got to be above six and a half thousand revs to get the power from it, and then it's fantastic. But that's only my mad half hour. The rest of the time, you're not always in the mood to be scaring passers-by, revving the back out of it. And this is where the Golf is great. It's a turbocharged two-litre engine. That basically means is you get much more power low down, so you don't have to be revving it all the time. Of course, if you do, it's still got loads of power, but even in third gear, fourth gear, at low revs, it's got plenty of poke. But the thing that's impressed me most is the optional direct shift gearbox, or DSG. It's a beautiful system, and definitely the future of changing gear. Why on earth manufacturers like Ferrari and Aston Martin, who make these trick, fancy Formula One gearboxes, can't make something like this, it defies logic. It's a manual gearbox, but it's got two clutches. So the first, third, and fifth have got a clutch on their own, second, fourth, and sixth have got a clutch on their own. So the gear you're going to go to is always engaged. And it makes for instantaneous, perfect, accurate gear changes up and down the gearbox. Just take a listen to this. We'll knock down to second. We'll give it some poke. And then I'll change up. <laughs> it's just perfect. For me, this is the biggest step forward in gearbox technology I've ever driven. It is fabulous. DSG, what's it going to cost you? Well, £1,300. I think that's buttons when you consider what it does to the car. This car is quicker than 60 than your manual gearbox. So the DSG makes for quicker changes, gets you places faster. We like that. To find out more, we dropped by Bernie Eccleston's state-of-the-art Paul Ricard circuit, which nestles in the south of France. Here, tyre walls and gravel traps have been replaced by high-grip paint, making it a blueprint for tracks of the future. Now, I used to instruct at Paul Ricard, and uh, it's a great little test track for cars. Particularly this section is uh, a quick right left and what we're doing 100, nearly 100 mile an hour here one of the nicest parts about this new golf gti is the steering um, really nice waiting you get lots of feedback car goes exactly where you want it to now of course driving road cars on circuits is not an ideal thing to do you can always pick fault with them but i have to say i'm really enjoying this new golf it's not like the old one the old one was a bit a bit too safe, a bit too wallowy, a bit dull, dare I say. But this is um, this is altogether different. It's really good fun. I can't help feeling the Civic Type R is a bit riskier on a track and rewards the hooligan more. But you know what? Driving sideways isn't everything. For me, buying cars is more than just about the drive. It's about living with it every single day. And I have to say, the Golf is a great place to be. The finish is fantastic, the fit. It's a place you want to be. And then there's the image. This is still the only hot hatch I take my girlfriend to a posh hotel in. But the big question is, should you buy one over the Civic Type R? <laughs> you bet you should.